What is going on, you lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? Look at my rank. I'm spoiling the end of this video for you by showing you the rank, but I felt like it's probably, you know, pretty self-evident once you see it that I will have gotten master eventually. But now obviously this is not the greatest accomplishment in the world. Master is something that pretty much any player can definitely do eventually. Um, challenger, I would argue for as well. It's getting to champion that is where I think people would definitely start to struggle. But with the characters that I'm using, so like look at the characters that are on this list, and just you know give that a look, see, quick looking over, and then check out my defense team, which is more or less kind of sort of the team that I'm using. Uh, just replace lots with furious, and that's my offense team. Those characters in opposition to. I think this actually takes me out of the arena menu. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, in opposition to these characters. You notice that there's a lot more five-star characters on this screen than were on my screen. So the entire point of this account, of making this account and progressing throughout the game, was to kind of combat this idea that, like, oh, yeah, if you start your selective summon, you need this character, you need that character. You know, like it's, It irritates me whenever I saw those comments, rather than just being like, Here's a list of characters. Go check them out. See who you like. Just grab them. Whoever you like, grab them, play them, enjoy the game, have fun. And so that's kind of why I st I was I'm playing these characters because these are all characters that I'm very interested in that I want to use and that I want to see what I can do with them on a fresh account, see how I can progress through the game. And I feel like I've gotten to a decent enough level that I can definitely talk, say that this has been a success. Uh, I can still, I can definitely still get a hell of a lot better with all of them. Now, to be fair, I do not know how these particular characters are going to work for things like Abyss 81 Plus. And I ha I, I'll just have to get there and figure it out from there. But I'm pretty sure it's just going to take some obscene gear, which obviously I do not have right now. Um, but I've done a lot of it, like I've done the entire story mode plus the side story uh i've done almost all the spirit altars except for earth because i currently i can't out dps um the healing that the earth altar boss gets because furious is my only defense break and unfortunately he is an ice unit so he's not terribly useful there but i did just recently build kawazu so he has unhealable so i'm hoping he he'll carry me through that once i actually try to do it uh, Abyss, I'm up to 58, and I can definitely beat it. I, RNG didn't go my way the first time I tried it, and so unfortunately two of the mushrooms... I was able to kill the healing tree, I was able to kill one of the mushrooms, and I got very close to killing the second one, but unfortunately I didn't get um, either like either one, either a counterattack from Pergus or a follow-up to Dingo's S1 for free would have killed the second one, but unfortunately I did not get either one, and so two of the mushrooms exploded, killed everybody on my team except for Pergus, and there was no way I was going to win it from there. But I, it definitely showed that with decent enough RNG, I'll be able to get through that fight. So I'm not hard stuck in Abyss either. I'm just slowly but surely climbing. Uh, Labyrinth, same deal. I just You're limited on how many tokens you can get. And so I'm just slowly but surely churning my way through. I'm currently in Nick Seeds. Hoping, I think I just started the second uh, stage of Nick Seeds. And I'm, I really want to get to the third because that's when it starts giving you level 60 equipment. So I'm hoping to get decent, better counter gear than what I currently have to put on Pergus. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'm doing really well. It's working out really well. I still have a lot of stuff that I can do, a lot of improvements to make. The only thing that really concerns me, like, Dingo has been an absolute monster for me. I cannot overstate enough how amazing Dingo has been for me. And Pergus, ever since I put a counter set on him... And so now instead of countering only 30% of the time, he counters 50% of the time. He's turned into a legitimate monster as well, who's just, I mean, there have been times where he counterattacks five, six times in a row and just wipes the entire enemy because that's just how it works. And he's getting buffed as well next week. So looking forward to that, he's going to get even better. So both of them have been legitimate monsters for me. Furious has been really good. Assassin Sid has been surprisingly good given how terrible his gear is. But so like all these characters that I'm just I'm just randomly building them, trying them out, seeing how they work, and they've all been surprisingly good. They've all been better than I expected. But the two definite highlights have been Pergus and Dingo. Um so yeah, like this is working out really well, it's going really well. And I've been recording Abyss videos ever since I think stage fifty-two. I wish I had been recording earlier so I could actually just post like my entire pro progress 
through Abyss with these characters. Um, but yeah, it, it's working. It's just going extremely well. And I really hope that people might be able to look at this and be like, oh, I mean, this dude is doing all this content with these four star characters with a couple three star characters and maybe i can just use whoever the hell i want to as well rather than just going along with the community and saying oh yeah i need a team of vildred ken iseria and tamarine or i'm failing the game you know like i'm hopeful we'll, we'll see but anyway that's my little introduction to everything that's about to happen thank you for listening um i am hoping because what i actually wanted to do in that video was go through all the characters that i am using um and kind of go through and talk about them but then i realized like why not just do individual videos give them each a proper amount of time in the spotlight and go over them more in depth than i would want to do so that's what i'm going to do especially again definitely these two because they have been standouts they still have room for improvement for sure we'll see how good how much better purgus gets after his buff um but i definitely think dingo also deserves a buff um and unfortunately when it comes to a character like assassin sid if you have assassin coley she's just a better version of him more or less they have slightly different purposes but there's enough parallels between them that if you're look if you have assassin sid or assassin coley and you're like which one should i build the answer is definitely assassin coley which is a bit of a shame but he's still very good uh so yeah i, I want to go and talk about you know like each one of these characters that i've actually put a decent amount of time in that i've gained some knowledge with what they're good at what they aren't and give them a proper time to shine so hopefully you look forward to that and yeah thank you for listening to this introduction and without further ado i'm gonna kick it over to the other video and let you all see my glorious ascent to master rank what is going on you lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world i honestly didn't think it was going to happen it might still not to be honest we'll see what happens first i'm gonna see if i can earn masters by fighting this team i don't think i'm gonna be able to beat this team but i'm gonna try nonetheless because you see they have made chloe uh so if i do not manage to assassin sid the hell out am i okay with the i feel i really do feel but seaside bologna hits you know what i'm gonna i don't have any flags well isn't this awkward i forgot about that uh, so what I actually wanted to do, I was hoping to get master, uh, in this video and then I can talk about, since I feel like that's actually a somewhat decent achievement, uh, to have gotten in like with the characters, like you see the characters that I'm using. I have no five stars here. I'm not using, uh, characters like Seaside Bologna or you go back in the list. Um, you see a lot of, a lot of, uh, everybody has Seaside Bologna except for the, except for this one guy who's only using one character in Vildred, but you see a lot of five stars here right and then you see like how's this guy only master this man with these characters should easily like he has to be oh, over rank 60 right yeah rank 63 he should be in challenger by now to be fair a lot of people don't really care about the pvp like i i have i cared about it for a while and i have dialed it back quite a bit like i don't even care anymore uh it's just it's really not enjoyable to be honest like it's basically when you're looking hey i'm ranked three in gold one that's exciting um fun story when i first was playing this i didn't know that it showed you like what your rank was inside of your actual rank so like when it says rank three that means i'm third ranked out of all the gold players if you're in bronze it'll tell you what your rank is in bronze i thought it was your overall rank so when i was climbing through i think i first noticed it in silver I was like, wow, nobody really plays the PvP aspect of this game. I'm climbing mad fast. I'm getting to the top of the ladder, like, super quickly. This is impressive. And then I hit gold, and it basically reset me down to, like, rank 10,000. I was like, oh. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Um, but, yeah, so I, I, I feel like it's a decent achievement to have gotten Master using the characters that I'm using. Uh, also, with the gear that I have, like, I have terrible gear. Like, let me just show you real quick. Uh, I did recently kind of sort of buff up my boy Purgus. He has count. He used to have. See, so you can see the leftovers. He used to have the lifesteal gear on him because I didn't have anything better. Uh, but now he has somewhat halfway decent counter gear. Um, that's really all I have to say. I mean, it could have rolled better for sure, and like the sub stats here could be better. He's going to be a lot better. Like this right here rolled absolutely atrociously. Like it got. A minimum roll a minimum roll in every single stat like that's three rolls into effect resistance that you're seeing 
if you get three rolls into effect resistance, you're hoping for at least 20% plus, and that's only at 13. So, yeah, it this item rolled absolutely awfully for me, and the only reason I got it to plus 15 is for the main stat attack. I really want that attack bonus. Um, but what's really going to help him is they're actually buffing Pergus soon. He's going to get uh, HP scaling on his uh, S1 and his S3. And so because of that, my Pergus is going to be a lot better. Like He has over 12,000 health right now. I still need to awaken his uh, lat, his sixth slot, which I'm not sure if that gives HP. I can't remember what exactly it is, but I still need to do that. So he's definitely going to be getting more HP. It actually irritated me. He has 12,435 when I first saw that, I was like, oh, he has 12,345 health. That's so cool. And then I noticed, like, no, it's just the four and the three are switched. Oh, this dude's rank 62. There's no way I win this. Well, whatever. Let's just see. Oh, let's turn on the sound. There's no way I win this. Um, his characters are too good in comparison to mine, and he's higher rank. But his characters are very slow. If I can murder, actually, it would be better... Why should I spare you? Fight that is a remarkably fragile Blood will made Chloe, and I'm down with it. So now I, who do I kill second? Like, honest, oh, oh, you can't see my mouse. I'm hovering over Kareen. She goes before Dingo. So unless this person is atrociously geared, which I assume he's not, given that he's ranked 63, uh, my dingo is instantly going to die and there's nothing I can really do about that so I am just going to aim for seaside Bologna and all that I can really do now is just hope that my Pergus carries me to victory because he's yeah he's a hundred percent dead and seaside Bologna moves before Pergus as well damn this person put all their eggs in the um, Kareen basket. So I actually, ironically, don't want Pergus to counterattack here. Okay. I mean, this still isn't good. Oh no, yes it is. I'm hoping for a stun here on Seaside Bologna. Made Chloe's dead. Seaside Bologna is stunned. Now I want counterattacks. I think Furious and Assassin Sid are both dead. Furious lived. Assassin Sid's dead, but we got the counterattack. I win this. I, would, I don't I don't lose this now. Um, ooh, do I want to take that risk? I have to. He's dead if Kareem gets an attack off. Are you kidding? How much health did she just live with? I have to kill Seaside Bologna here. Because otherwise, she's going to do her counterattack. And like, I mean, no matter what. Ooh, but Kareem is scarier. Fucking, I'm killing Kareem. She's going to do her counterattack. Furious dies. Uh, it's unfortunate, but... Kareen has more potential to kill me. Like, that Seaside Bologna, I don't think will do anything to me. That sucks. That really, truly sucks that she just hit me for real and got... Oh. Okay, we're fine. No, no longer defense down. But, yeah, that really... That could have hurt quite a bit. I mean, this still isn't great for me. To be honest, she can still hit me and kill me. Wait, what? Oh, Spirit's Breath. Push her back. Perfect. Now I have to hope this puts her below 30% and she gets stunned. This is actually super tense. You know what I was talking about earlier when I said, Plea, I need to earn my victory? I'm earning it. Oh, no. She lived with 230 health. Okay, it wasn't even close. Boom. Dead. I earned my spot in Masters. Hell yeah. That feels good, because that was actually super close.